see, what are we looking at here? This is so it's just the ping ping cutting up okay. that we uh, do the measurement on. So we get everyone to hit um, five ten foot putts. First of all, I do wrist to floor measurement. So if you just stand, you know, like a iron fitting. So if you just stand to the side, keep your arm straight, and then I just get a weight measurement then. So up to your wrist. So that's in um, 30, 35 inch putter. 35 inch. Yeah. Okay. So what is that one just as a matter of in, is that 35 inch? Um, okay. That's 34. 34. So it's an inch shorter. Out, that, so that affects, um, you know, if you're pulling or pushing or if, if you're hitting. Yeah, it would. If, if, you, if, you, if you're more bent over, you see, you're not. See, if a 35 inch is set perfect, you're going to be able to take the club better on a straighter arc. Okay. You know, while if you're bent over, it could start to go offline. So yeah. you're not okay. going to get the true true like consistency and pulling it back every time because if you're bent over you you probably change a lot yeah, and you yeah, wouldn't yeah. know okay. but if you're sat in 35 and you're working it's on something it's just more comfortable it's in a set position and you know you can just rock from the shoulders then okay. yeah and anything so you yeah okay. so you can't you kind of hold it open yeah. hold it off with your hands pretty much Yeah, no, it's it's like like you said, if people's willing to spend so much money on a driver and irons, like putting's the key thing. Um, so you'll see it gives us our closing angle, impact angle, your tempo, which I would say that's good. At one point nine. If it went above, if it went higher than two, it's it's like we need to work on your tempo. Okay. But your lie angle at impact, which is the only thing, it's it's just too flat. Right. So you're just coming, you know, at so at angle. So at impact, you're just pretty much like this. So okay. the toes up. So if I if I get you, I'd probably get you a toe hanging putter. I'd okay. probably put you into that. Okay. Um. So it, if I go into a ping recommendation, okay, that will say I need you in a slight arc. Right. So that just gets us going like more around just, like this. Yeah, this so that that would be sort of like a toe hang putter anyway. You no, know, like a if you want if you didn't want a big back and you want something a bit better. Yeah. I can get you into a few and we'd see an improvement. Everything should start to go a bit more green. Okay. If you can just keep your hands forward as well, um, so at, the actual at, at the start of it, yeah. just keep them forward and just well, rock. Yeah, you do more forward. of that, so if you can just get a bit more like that, right. okay? There we go. Better roll. Yeah, it would give it more of a chance, so it would. Hit the ground, yeah. Well, that's I'd prefer it to be going past and now than to. You'll always make the one back, you know. Yeah. There we go, that's better. <laughs> no, it, but you can see it, it's rolling better. Like it's not, it's not that it's, you know, it's giving it a chance. So just push your hands forward a bit. There we go. Two for two. <laughs> Sweeney's masterclass. No, it, it looks a lot better. It probably feels completely it's alien, like but it's it's, it's so different. good, like. Hold on. Don't worry. But it, it it's just that you're getting that roll, like yeah. that. You know that that's the me. Like they're not like all of them are going past the whole. They're not yeah. really dying short, like like before. You're a bit slow. You're a bit better tempo in this, you know. So just push them hands forward slightly. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Hold on. So I recently did the putter session with uh, Brian Sweeney down in Nace Golf Club. I've never had a putter fitting before. I've always just gone off something I like the look of, uh, something I like the feel of. Have been using a Rife putter for the last um, two, maybe three years. It's a mallet style putter. Um, 34 inches which is something I wasn't actually aware of to be honest with you at the time um, 
decided to have the fitting with uh, Brian because uh, putting is probably one of the weaker parts of my game. I tend to leave an awful lot of putts short uh, and also miss a lot of putts on the right hand side. So spent a good uh, hour um, or so with Brian on the putting green, went through a number of variations of, of putters and it was a real eye opener. Um, so I moved from a 34 inch putter to uh, a 35 inch putter. Um, and I've literally just received the new fella. So this is it, it's the new uh, ping putter. Uh, very excited to give this a, a whirl. Having a putter fitting isn't something I would have really considered in the past, but from talking to both Gavin and Brian down at the, the club, um, you know, they convinced me it was a worthwhile ex exercise. And I have to agree, I really, really think it's something that's worth spending time on. Um, you'll see as we discussed in the video, people will spend a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of effort on uh, drivers and, and every other club in the bag, but not the putter. Um, so for anyone considering, you know, dropping a couple of shots, have a look at the putting. It's, it's the, probably the quickest way of reducing your handicap.